Same thing for uh, Beans, too. He he gave Kanye West the name Yeezy, and I think Kanye said he was going to break him off something crazy. But then Beans said he didn't want it. I would have never said that. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't have said that. Like, real shit, I wouldn't have said that. Like, you know what I mean? So I would have never said that. Like, bro, I need something. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Be I told Beans, I said, Beans, bro, if I was your manager, bro, it'd be different. So I think if I was a manager, if I cared about being a manager, it'd be over. Cause I be on niggas top, like yo, this, this, that. I make yo, listen, you gotta do right, what's right. But you know, these days, you know, everybody is so politically correct. If you say anything that's, cause I say stuff that's wrong all the time. I mean, I say something like, oh, that shouldn't have said that. But I can admit it. I mean, people these days, they just act like they just can't make a mistake. They just, I, I, this world's just too soft for me, man. That's why I stay in the house, mind my business. You know what I mean? Cause this world. So, 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 do you kind of blame Kanye for not still looking out for beans, though? Not really, cause once a person say they don't want it. I mean, of course, if I, he's not throwing, I mean, throwing nigga would just say, give him some anyway. You know what I mean? But let me tell you what I saw, bro. I saw, I came to court for beans, right? When he shot that, supposed to have shot, allegedly shot somebody. Jay-Z got on the stand. They said, yo, are you going to be responsible for him if we let you go? Jay-Z said, no. Wait, nah. What, what year was this? Bro, I was there. I was there. My son was little, so it's probably like early 2000s. Yeah. I was, I was there. This, this, this ain't hearsay. This is me there in the courtroom. So wait, wait. The judge asked Jay Z, "Would he be responsible Be for beans? Yeah, if, would you be responsible if we let him go today? Would you be responsible for him?" He said, "No, no." Is this before the success, or is this af after the beans I mean, success? Beans, beans was, he was beans. He was already did the songs and all that. Yeah, it was success. Yeah, it was success already. And what he, I, I, I was just thinking, like, what did he come to court for then? If you're not going to, if you're going to say that, like, mind you, this is my thing. If I got a homie, all I got to do is say I'm responsible for him to get out. I'm saying it every time because. If he kills somebody, something they, he can't charge me with it. I mean, plus I got enough money to put him up somewhere anyway if, if I wanted to. But like, Judge basically just giving up, trying to give him an out to be able to get out. Just say yeah. He said no, bro. And I said, and nobody didn't say nothing. Nobody didn't flinch. I'm looking, mind you, I'm a jail nigga, so I'm looking like, what? Nobody not appalled. Nobody not saying that. They act like it was normal. Well, you know, he don't want to. He don't want to be responsible for a grown. Bro, he not gonna really have to be. The, the, there's no way in the law that say, well, if you say responsible for me, get out and do something. I'm gonna charge you. You can't be charged with nothing. You know what I'm saying? He just said no, like no, nigga, I'm not fucking with you. Like, so I just be like, yo, I always, always thought maybe I'm too street in my thinking. Maybe I'm just too street and I don't understand. Like, you know, him being maybe he's being more responsible than I'm capable of knowing about. But I just looked at it like, man, these balls is different. My thing is, don't don't come to court for me if you're gonna say that. I mean, like, yo, yo you gonna let Kid O come out? Sure, white kid. We, we responsible for skin if we let him out today? No. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck you come to court for? What you come to court for then? But I mean, what's the point of you getting on the stand? This was on the stand. I said, what the fuck was that? So, you know, I left. So I just did not say nothing before because I didn't know if I was thinking correct. I remember I was thinking too street. So I just be quiet. But in my head, I'm like, damn. I just, like, I just was, 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 he, was he sentenced after Marjorie, that? Marjorie after went back to jail after that. He was in jail. They, they said he was already in jail. Uh. Like, I mean, like, so I was like, Wow, like that was different for me. That was, that was different. I mean, so you know, a lot of stuff like that made me like, yo, mind, you, mind you, this is the thing though. People always say, well, this business. They used to always say we was family. I mean, yesterday, like we family. We up here, we family. That's that's how they carried it. Like we was family. I mean, so you know, I took that. I thought, I mean, mind you, I, I took that we was family. That's what I thought. The way he was, they was talking, like, but you know, it wasn't really like that. But I mean, but mind you, like I said, I had way more good times than bad times. I mean, people thought like, so I don't. From, when I talk about stuff, I, I used to get mad about stuff that happened to other people. As far as with me, nothing really, nothing really bad happened for, to me. You know what I'm saying? So people always think I'm saying this because I want, I want money from somebody. No, I'm talking about, if you're my man, this might do something to you, it make me mad. Period. Like, I mean, just, or you do something, and I see something that you've done, and I, and I don't like it. I, just, I, just, I mean, I, it make me mad. Like, because like, if you did it to them, you could do it to me. So, so wait, let me ask you this. When, was, was Beans the enforcer? Because, I, you know, we heard stories about how he protected Kanye from getting robbed and... You know, was he like that with Jay Z? Like, was he like that nigga? That Jay Z, was Jay -Z didn't. Jay Z didn't need that. Jay Z had bodyguards. Okay. You know what I'm saying Jay Z. Jay Z. But so Jay Z, I don't. I, I never. Jay Z don't seem like a coward to me. He ain't never give me no coward vibes ever. He. I mean, plus you know Jay Z a big guy. I think like six four. Like I mean, like no, he wasn't enforcing for Jay Z. But as far as the music business, he needed a right hand like that that could spit. I mean, because you know the music business is all about perception. And I mean, if you weak, if, you, if your team look weak, like I mean, like, like well, nigga, you about to be out of here. Like, think, think about this. Think about Cash Money without Lil Wayne. Mm. No Lil Wayne, Cash Money might topple over. 
You know what I mean? Like, they wasn't like, Lil Wayne gave him that. You know what I mean? So, like, it's like, that's what Beans did with Jay-Z. Beans gave him that street. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, that, that, that's what I think it was about the perception about. You know what I mean? So, like, my thing is this. That's your young boy. He make, making you money. He hot. He talented. Go take him out. Of, say, yeah, and just put him up somewhere. You know what I mean? But I just guess people, like, when I think about a friend, they, they, they wasn't friends. Like, even though he said they was, their family, they wasn't. Because a friend never going to leave, like, stranded like that. Yeah, but I never heard Beans go on record and say that he didn't want he didn't want no money from Kanye. Is that something he told you? I mean, I, I heard I heard him say it somewhere on, like, online. I heard him say it, like, you know, I told him I want no money. I just wanted he wanted a meeting with him or something like that. So I didn't want no money. I just wanted to talk to him or something like that. I mean, my thing is this: I said, Beans, if I was you, bro, I want the money. I mean, if the boy billion dollars and all that, like, all right, come on, Kanye, come on, run that. If you made up the name Yeezy, come on, bro. But I mean, that's the, but you know, some people don't say what they want. They try to be modest. You gotta say what you want. If you don't say, if you don't ask, I mean, you can't be mad if you don't receive. Um, 22 years later, what we do, it just officially went gold. That's crazy, man. That's after, a, that's after a, that was platinum already. That's a hood classic, man. But like, you gotta remember, we, though. You gotta remember. We, we're not talking just Philly. This That shit's everywhere. You gotta remember the time when it came out, though. What, what, what the, uh, Napster. Lime yeah, bro. People wasn't buying like music. I mean, you people, you gonna sell? You, if you sell four hundred thousand records, that mean you, you really sold five million. Yeah. Think about Fifty Second Street, bro. Fifty Second Street went platinum. Like, you know what I mean, so like you know, it was just now they probably count on streams. You know what I mean, so like I mean, but the main thing is this: that that song right now, come on, any any state anywhere is gonna jump. You know yeah. That's just one of them songs. You know what I mean, so but like I said, that was that was that was a freeway song. It's, it's like it's like the song uh, Freeway got what's that flip side? I mean, what's that flip side? Yep. That was that was my that was that was my my, my song first. Me and it was me and Freeway. Yeah. Did it. Yeah. Me and Freeway. I went to jail. Came out. PD was on it. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Me and Freeway. Yep. And what you? I think what you gonna put a version of it out uh, somewhere. I think it's on Apple Music or something with me on it. But I mean that was a hit song. But but PD did a good. good he killed it. I mean so I. But I mean that, but that's how the music game go. Like I mean when you sign to a label, you you submit songs, but it's up to them. To, I mean whatever they gonna put out, how they gonna do it. But I was in jail, so I blame myself. You know I mean, but I was in jail for somebody putting me in jail. You know what I mean, you know, I was in jail innocent twice. You know what I mean, the boy Jimmy the Saint, he got caught with a brick in his crib, and he went to the, told him I killed somebody. You know what I mean, got me like the full murder, bro. I'm 100% innocent. He know I was innocent. If he tried to give me the death penalty for that shit, bro, that shit was like a real deal. Holy, that was a real thing. Like, you know what I mean, it's nothing like being in prison when you ain't do it. Come on, come on. It's, it's different if I was there and I know who did it. I don't know nothing about the whole situation. You feel me? And you sitting in that jail, man, they trying to give you a death penalty, man, and they keep talking about. You want to take a deal for life, I mean. You think, man, I might not get out. I ain't do this shit. Like it, it, it messes with your mind. 